These data are alarming. We are in the middle of the Ice Age termination event. What is happening to our Earth's climate, what is responsible for it, and why we are actually still in an Ice Age, you will find out in this video. So be sure to stay tuned until the end. Welcome, friends. We are living in an ice age. I know that at the current temperatures, this doesn't seem so surprising, and it's actually true. And if you want to help melt the ice age, I would be super grateful if you subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. You won't miss any more galactic videos, and it helps me immensely. Thank you very much. Yes, our planet goes through climatic cycles. These cycles lead to the formation of huge ice sheets from time to time, which are larger than anything we know today and cover large parts of the planet. In the media, this period is often referred to as an ice age. But in reality, we are still in the ice age right now. The scientifically correct term for this is the Quaternary Ice Age which began 2.6 million years ago and continues to this day. Many studies based on ice cores from Antarctica show a cooling trend with at least two separate cycles, a 41,000 year cycle and a 100,000 year cycle. These cycles create a recurring pattern of ice growth and melting, and we are currently in a special cycle section, namely a warmer period within an ice age. It is called the Holocene Interglacial, a brief period of mild climate that began just under 12,000 years ago. So this is a brief anomaly within a larger ice age, which is what we are actually in. Let me know in the comments whether you are more of an ice Ice age or a warm period type? Do you prefer colder or warmer periods? I am very curious to see what the majority thinks. Okay, so let's just say that we are basically ice age inhabitants like Sid and Manfred. You're an embarrassment to nature, do you know? These climatic cycles of the Earth have incredibly complex causes. One of the most important factors is the so-called Milankovitch cycles. These are long-term fluctuations in the Earth's orbit and inclination that affect the amount and distribution of sunlight reaching the Earth. These cycles include changes in the eccentricity of the Earth's orbit, the precession of the Earth's axis, and the inclination of the Earth's axis. These orbital changes cause significant climatic fluctuations, including the onset and termination of ice ages. By changing the amount of solar radiation, they influence global temperatures and can thus trigger periods of warming and cooling over tens of thousands of years. And seriously, nobody has yet fully understood the extent to which the Milankovitch cycles affect the Earth and whether there are even sub-cycles that we are not yet aware of. So that was a little bit of Ice Age 101. But now our cold period could come to an abrupt end because scientists have discovered something rather worrying, a rapid increase in the levels of methane in the Earth's atmosphere. And that raises the question, are we experiencing an Ice Age termination event? Methane is a potent greenhouse gas released both by human activities such as agriculture, waste management, and fossil fuels, and by natural sources such as wetlands and thawing permafrost. Its concentration in the atmosphere has increased significantly in recent decades, especially since the end of 2006. Now, of course, you could say, So it's man's fault. Not so fast. Global methane levels rose sharply in the 1980s, mainly due to human emissions, and we have to take the blame for that, but they stabilized as early as the 1990s. This was due to various regulations and technologies that improved our ability to extract methane without releasing much of it. The current increase since 2006 is therefore not directly attributable to our emissions. The latest data suggests that natural biogenic processes are instead responsible for a significant proportion. In particular, the wetlands in the tropics emit large quantities. These wetlands are important sources of microbially produced methane, and the increasing heat and humidity promote plant growth and microbial activity, which then leads to methane emissions. The increasing heat and humidity, on the other hand, is probably due to climate change, so we are not completely uninvolved. Involved, but that is just one explanation at the moment. We certainly don't know for sure. The lead author of the current study, Ewan Nisbet, says, Methane is both a driver and a messenger of climate change. We don't know why it is rising so quickly now, but it must be related to the rise in temperatures since 2006. The behavior of methane since 2006 is similar to that of methane during the Earth's major climate fluctuations in the distant past. In particular, the isotopic signature of the measured methane values indicates that the current emissions are predominantly of natural origin and that microbial processes in wetlands play a dominant role. Okay, but what does that mean in concrete terms? It means that Sid and Manny will soon be able to exchange their thick fur for a pair of swimming trunks.
If the current methane increase turns out to be the precursor of a new termination event, the effects on the global climate could be considerable. Such events have led to dramatic changes in temperature and precipitation in the past and could have similar effects today, to the extent that they could lead to the end of the current ice age. We know from studies of past climate cycles that a methane increase heralds precisely such an ice age termination. The study states, It is possible that the current increase in methane is within the range of variation of the Holocene, but it is also possible that the increase in methane and the isotope shift indicate that a large-scale restructuring of the natural climate and biosphere is underway. The entire termination cycle can be roughly divided into three phases. First, an increase in methane and CO2. Then global warming over several thousand years and finally a singularly strong temperature rise, usually caused by a methane surge, which then also lasts for several thousand years. These terminations, which last for several thousand years in total, therefore often have a very sudden phase that lasts only a few decades. This phase then ends with a large methane release, which causes temperatures to rise further and sea levels to rise dramatically. The last time this happened, the Earth became about 3 to 4 degrees warmer and the tundra turned into a tropical area. If you and Nisbet is right, then this is exactly what is happening right now. I have linked the study to the video below and I will keep you up to date on all the latest developments in this regard, which of course only works if you follow the channel, so why not do that now? Germany also has a witness to long gone eras and it's a huge monster volcano. That's right, right under Berlin is a truly gigantic volcano that once rose to a height of 2,000 meters and stretched for several kilometers. Could it still erupt and destroy Berlin? You can find out everything about it in the video below. Be sure to watch it, it's very exciting. And if you want to support the channel, feel free to visit the Astro Shop. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, friends.